Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a Twin Flame reading for the sign of Scorpio. Please keep in mind that it's a general read. It will not resonate with everyone. If it does, please let me know in the comments. Also, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to use the new spread here for your reading and I'm going to use an oracle deck which is called Star Dragons by Paolo Barbieri. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck with the very powerful energies here. So please let me know if you uh, if you like the new spread and the cards or maybe you would like me to to keep doing what I'm usually doing, this uh, two decks a spread for you. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me know. I would like to hear from you and Without further ado, let's start with your reading. Let's see what are the energies for Scorpio's Twin Flame, please. Give me one card to represent this person. What are they doing? Let's see. We have Bliss, cherishing the day. Oh, wow. It's actually quite a nice energy here. I feel like... Uh, you know what, it reminds me very much actually of an energy of a page of cups. Um, some of you may be tarot readers uh, like myself, so you probably know the energy. It's kind of light-hearted energy, it's kind of, you know, I feel like this person is not actually at this moment thinking about anything serious. I feel like they are not going through some, like, through through anything heavy Right, I feel like they are just actually enjoying their life. They are just enjoying their life. For some of you, this person could be younger than you. Uh, for some of you, um, this person could be behaving a little bit um, childish, I want to say. Right, but actually in a good way. I feel like this person is is very big on dreams. They are a dreamer, definitely, and they are very light-hearted, I want to say at this time. Very, very light-hearted energies. For this person, I feel like, uh, to be honest, I do feel like, you know, I feel like they think about you a lot and I feel like they actually bask in this energy of the love that they feel from you and they feel to you. Even, even for those of you who are in separation, I want to say, even if you are in separation, I feel like the Spirit wants you to know at this time that this person is actually so very glad and happy to have you in their life. Right? Uh, now let's see how are they viewing Scorpio. At this time, please. Let's see. Trust. We have love and friendship here. Like I said, like I said, you see, actually, doesn't matter if you are in a communication, if you are in a relationship with this person, or even if you are not. They view you as the closest person to their heart, as someone who understands them fully, as someone who they really, truly love. For some of you, I don't feel like they are actually expressing a lot of that. To be completely honest, I just want to smile. I just can't stop smiling looking at these energies here. Because look, at, you see this, this little white dragon, how they are looking at the, at the, at the girl there. Uh, very calm. There is a lot of tranquility in this, right? They are both very, very uh, harmonious and content here. And I feel like this person actually, whatever is happening or was happening between you two, they do feel very happy to have you in their life. They do feel like, I want to say, they feel home with you. They feel like they can be actually vulnerable with you. They feel like they can be themselves with you. Maybe <clears throat> the thing is that I feel like maybe they are not expressing all of that to you because I feel for some of you this person is actually very shy, right? Once again, I want to say I'm picking up on this uh, Page of Cups energy. They could be just, you know, dreaming about you, about this connection and and really enjoying the feeling, the energy. 
but um, maybe not being very sure how to move forward or if they should step forward right but uh, let's see let's let's see how they are viewing this connection because as for you Scorpio they are viewing you as as they are as, as their lover and their friend and uh, and the person that they can trust and the person that they can uh, be themselves with I want to say let's see how they are viewing this connection we have vision contemplating the future like I said you see I'm picking up on very very uh, dreamy energy here and you see all these cards all these colors all this blue here I feel like you could be dealing with another water sign maybe another Scorpio or Pisces maybe uh, Cancer right maybe you have a heavy mm, water placement in your chart but I feel like it's a lot of this magical dreaming energy is going on between you two and as for your twin flame they are actually really dreaming about the future that you two could have together, about them, all these wonderful things you could be doing together. They also view you as a magical creature. They view you as someone not of this world, right? And they do feel that this connection is completely otherworldly, I want to say, right? So, so as you can see, it's a lot of energy of dreams, of visions, of... Um, I, I don't want to say that I see any kind of action because I don't, right? I don't see any kind of action on this person's side. It feels more to me like very they are very poetic at this time, right? They are very romantic. They are, their heart is completely actually open towards this connection and towards you. And they could be writing poems. They could be writing songs, right? They could be listening to a lot of romantic music at this time. I, I really feel like like they really love you very innocently and very deeply and very lightly, like a child, I want to say. I, I'm picking up on the, uh, on the very, very childish energy, but in a good way, right? Now let's see what are you ignoring about this person, what Scorpio cannot see about the, their twin flame at this time. Grief, accepting loss. Oh, wow. Right. So, uh, it reminds me of this Five of Cups energy, and I feel like, for the most part, I'm talking to Scorpio, who is probably in separation from their twin flame. And and you do also, you pick up on this light-hearted energy from them, what you don't know, that they feel really sorry about something that happened in the past. They feel like, I want to say, they feel like they couldn't handle something in the past. I f they feel like they, they were not strong enough, maybe. Maybe they were not coming across as strong enough. Maybe they did not put enough energy into this connection. Maybe they couldn't handle how intense this connection is and was at that time, right? And I feel like this person probably... For some of you, they uh, they took a step back from the connection because because they really enjoy the feeling of love, of this pure, unconditional, innocent love that they that they feel any, every time they they are in your energy. But I feel like they couldn't they couldn't build on that. They couldn't act on that at the time and I feel like they they are really really upset because of this and they they really I don't want to say blame themselves but for, for some of you yes this person would would really blame themselves for that once again I don't know if they are doing anything about it but I feel like they feel like they are they were not strong enough for you right they were not strong enough for the connection they feel like they couldn't they couldn't do what should be done in this connection i hope that is making sense now let's see uh what this connection is based on at this time i want to say at this time please don't forget that energies are always shifting 
What is the foundation for this connection at this time? We have rebirth, giving yourself a second chance. Wow, I love this. I love this actually because it is telling me that this person, your twin flame, is actually probably because of this grief, because of this of this loss that uh, that they feel so very sorry about. I feel like it is it is actually pushing them in a way to to reinvent themselves. It is it is making them to to look at themselves in another way, maybe uh, to look at why. Why were they not able to keep up with the connection? Why they were not able to sustain this energy? Because it is a very strong energy, of course, that comes from the Twin Flames. And I really love to see this card here because uh, giving yourself a second chance actually means that they do not take this, whatever happened between you two, they do not take it as a failure. They take it as, as a detour. It, it it gives me the feeling that they want to continue on this on this path. They they don't just because like I said, you know, before in the previous energies, yes, there was a lot of a lot of beautiful dreamy energy coming uh, coming across. But like I said, I've seen no action. But I think I think that we are going to see some action here because because I feel like because of this grief, because of this feeling of guilt, I want to say, this person is actually going to, to pick themselves up, to reinvent themselves, to to take a really good look <clears throat> at at the reason why, why they had to, to back off from this connection in the first place, even though it makes them feel like nothing else in this world. It makes them feel like they can fly. It makes them feel like everything is possible. Right, so I really feel like I want to say this person is probably maturing right now, right? And uh, I'm not actually picking up that a lot that it is your energy. I'm for some of you, yes, this could be also. For some of you, it, it could be that it could be that you are both. Well, twin flames are always very connected, so. The mirroring energy will not be a surprise here. It could be that you are both somewhere deeply within yourself are actually kind of feel prepared to to give this another chance, right? But most of all, I feel like you may be prepared to give this connection another chance, but most of all, I feel like this person is really reinventing themselves right now. So let's see what is the outcome. I want to say for the foreseeable future, like I want to say seven days, right until or until the next reading right what is the outcome of this situation here we have legacy persistence whoa i really like that i really like that you see it is it is actually a very very different energy here but it reminds me of this energy of an emperor standing there i feel like i feel like both of you are actually once again i want to say that at, at this at this moment at this point i'm picking up more on their energy right i feel like this person is really quickly at that maturing here right from the from the page of cups i want to say right to the emperor to the emperor here to someone who is prepared to actually create history here who is able to create their own story here who is able to because i feel like before that they were maybe more in this in this childish position of the world is happening to me, right? Or maybe even in the world is happening for me. But I feel like this person is growing to the place where they will actually realize and understand that it's not just that, that they are actually creating this world that they are actually creating whatever is going on around them, that they are creating their own reality, that they are uh, possessing power to to create, to co-create with the spirit and with you, right? So I really like, to me this reading looks actually very much 
very much about this person, your twin flame. I'm not basically picking up on your energy so far. I feel like there is a wonderful, very beautiful process of growth here. Uh, we are both witnessing here, you and I, Scorpio. Right, let's see what is the lesson here for both twin flames in this connection at this time. Please keep in mind that we are all on the different timelines and they are shifting constantly. So it will be only for the time when you are watching this. Let's see. Transformation, defining yourself. This actually card came um, in one of the positions in Libra's reading, so you could be connecting with Libra or maybe you have a uh, heavy Libra placement in your chart somewhere. So I want to say that, yes, this now here is for the both of you. It's for the both of you. It's, um, then again, then again, it's the, this, this person of yours, this twin flame of yours is actually occupying the whole reading here. I'm hardly picking on any of your energy, Scorpio, because, look, I want to say that for you, transformation is, you know, Scorpio invented transformation. Scorpio knows everything about transformation, right? So for them, it's something to get closer to you, to get closer to the understanding of what you are and where you stand, right? I feel like this person is really transforming at this time. You see this dragon, how is it changing its colors, how it's becoming something else, something, something more. And, um, and I do feel like, actually, I want to say, Scorpio, that, that your energy, your way of being is really guiding them through this transformation. You are like, uh, like this northern star for, for the ships in the dark. Right? So when they don't know where to go, they, I feel like this person sometimes is retreating back to this, to this beautiful energy of trust and love and friendship that is between the two of you. And uh, they are gaining their direction there. I feel like this person is really gaining direction at this time. I want to say I'm really sorry my phone is shaking because of the microphone. Right? So, um, so yeah, I feel like, uh, I don't see any like prominent message or advice to you, so I feel like you, Scorpio, are actually doing just fine. You are, I feel like you are probably very well aligned uh, with the universe right now and with your twin flame as well, and they are getting there. I feel like it's, it feels to me like they are following your footsteps to, to the place of this, of this power of self empowerment, right? That they are actually destined to to get to. So yeah, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Uh, I hope this helped in some way. Uh, please, once again, tell me uh, how you like this reading, how you like the cards, how you like the oracle reading for yourself, and um, I really hope to see you again. Bye, Scorpio.